Citations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to another one of Game Dame Reacts where we get a nice behind the scenes look at the newest Lego game coming out, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Now I'm very excited to see what behind the scenes portion they're showing us, so without further ado, let's go ahead and watch the trailer in order to find out more. It is just one of the biggest games we've ever done. Well, yeah, definitely. So many planets, so many places to go, so many characters. So much to do, there's so many different ways to do it. It's so funny. It's not the Lego Star Wars you knew. We said, right, let's give the fans everything Star Wars. We're going to give them the galaxy. Yes! Give us the galaxy. Building the galaxy. In Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga, we had an incredible opportunity to build planets. Planets that we'd been to in our imagination. Yeah. Planets that we'd loved as fans of these stories across nine movies. One of the big things we wanted to focus on when we started this game was freedom. We wanted to blur the lines open between world, open world. and open world exploration as yep. much as possible in this game. So that it felt it's like really popular lately. cohesive galaxy. The game itself is obviously episodic. As players play through those, they will unlock these wonderful planets that they'll get to explore. You can go from Tatooine to Coruscant. You can go to Bespin, you can go to Asian Kloss, you can go to Acto. The planets are where this game really comes to life. The sheer scale of this is off the chart. Being able to traverse the entire galaxy, going from all the planets that you would recognize from the films. Oh, we just really so tried to awesome delve though. Into making each planet feel like alive and unique to what it was in the film. We started by Which is incredibly important planet, for such a big franchise. And texture details. Each planet and location has got so much original, authentic Star Wars detail. We got new systems that gave us a lot more finite control. How the planets look, how the levels look, how the ships look. It all looks so good. We it does look amazing. Details that people might not really observe straight away. One of them is the Lego weathering effect. When you have the players or vehicles transition through the environment, they become sort of dirtier. For example, oh, that's Tatooine awesome, Lego, though. All the characters like have sand on their feet. It was really satisfying when you actually can play the game. The small details. We wanted to make sure that all the little crevices and all the places like snow, mud, sand, all these elements would start to increase. You really do feel a part of that world. It's just fantastic. I find it impossible. That's to hilarious. Pick a favorite planet. I mean, there's so many great ones to choose from. I mean, yeah, That's it's really a, hard. It's been, it's I get one, it. Because it's such a, an auditory experience. You've got all the ships flying past you. And yeah, Bespin's fantastic. The first time I landed on Naboo, you come through a clearing of trees and you just see the lake and you have the sun and the clouds in front the of you. Naboo is beautiful. Off that. It's absolutely beautiful. My favorite absolutely planet is beautiful. Endor. I was Endor, ah, oh, so, so good. Return of the Jedi. I love the Ewoks. Just go to all of them. <laughs> Ewoks are deadly. Don't let them fool you. The world of Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga needed to be alive. So we built a galaxy with space missions, with side quests, with all kinds of secret yes. challenges wherever you go. My favorite mission is on Tatooine and it's being able to feed the Sarlacc. Oh Rats my gosh. And things to feed to it. It's just a joy. A I love that you can feed the Sarlacc pit. Place. And I just really love the one point in it. He's so nervous and he doesn't want to get like caught and you're just trying to help him sneak out the base. There are some missions where the player will follow a string of missions. That mission giver might send you from Acto to Exegol and you've got to travel across the galaxy and finish that mission. And that's something new we haven't actually done in previous games so much. Within our game- I like that they're adding something new. Are some of the players are gonna find throughout the planets. These are awarded in puzzles and sometimes can be awarded in missions. Along the way, you can get distracted by all sorts of like collectibles and missions to take on. And before you know, you realize, I haven't continued the story in about half an hour. I've been too busy collecting Kyber bricks. <laughs> And I think that's the best that you can go do you side stuff and you don't have to focus on the main story. And your favorite characters. You'll see characters in this game that you have never seen in any of our Star Wars games. We created them just for this game. I really love that you can play as Mama the Hutt, which I think is just great because I want to be Jamal with lipstick on. <laughs> just such as Yaddle. Yes. 
Yaddle! He's hilarious. Babu Frick! Hey, hey! <laughs> he's back. It's so good. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, so I was so excited to be part of this. It was even more exciting to get to work on so this So cool. You get to play all these different types of characters. The work that the team have put into it is incredible. I couldn't be prouder to have been part of this game. We were able to capture so many worlds and bring them all together and really create them the way that we wanted to is something that I'll always be proud of. Seriously, I am very impressed with the Skywalker saga and what it has to bring. Wow, it's being released April 5th, 2022, which is absolutely insane if you guys really think about it. Just so close and like so many games out there that have been doing the open world concept. And I think this is the first that's being done for Lego Star Wars to this extent. And Lego games in general was such a massive... Um, story to even follow and i love how it goes into like the actual stories that we know and love and watch all throughout the years and i just that's what i love about it and that you also get to play different characters that you never would have thought like yaddle i was actually taken back that you could play yaddle uh, most people don't know who yaddle is he's on the council as well who's the same species as yoda but like he's got some hair and he's he has like five seconds of screen time if even that but this is awesome. I cannot wait for this. I know if I do play this, this is going to be an incredibly long series as it should be. I mean, it's Lego Star Wars, but I am very excited to get this game and play it when I eventually am able to get to it. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you also plan to get Lego Star Wars and for which platform I'm probably going to do. Uh, if I get a PS5, I'll do a PS5, but... Uh, um, maybe but if it's it's on pc so i'm most likely gonna do pc but again that is all the time i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching i highly appreciate your time as always but please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my youtube but to my twitch you guys know where my youtube is at but you can find my twitch at twitch.tv slash the game dame thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye